so I know that some of you lunatics out there um, are having problems with uh, Bifrost and the aero smoke thing so I'm just going to go over a few things just do a new workflow fresh new scene from here because I'm getting untold comments of people saying it doesn't work for me so all I've got is a little shape here and I'm just going to hold down J to snap it up here at 90 degrees and I'm going to animate it just going to hit S I'm going to go to 100 and I'm going to rotate it 360 degrees and I'm going to keyframe that then because it's going to have a bezier curve on it I'm just going to go in and linearize that um, and I might while I'm here loop it <coughs> Uh, post infinity and it's just cycle and if you want to see your infinity then just go click infinity so it should just let's just stick this up to a thousand so this should just rotate and rotate and rotate and rotate and rotate and rotate and then start from frame one again and this seamless animation um, so now with this selected I'm just going to go up into my dynamics menu and I'm going to go into Bifrost Fluids. I'm going to snip this off. Um, I'm going to click Aero. Give that a second to think about it. So we've created an Aero Bifrost Solver around this object. So I'm going to bring my uh, timeline down to about 150 because I don't want to be simulating a thousand frames while we're sat here chatting away and I'm just going to play that and let it do its thing so it's rising up in the air and twisting and there it goes okay uh, let's just stop it there because it's good enough for us to have a look at something um, so, yeah, with the bounding box selected, I'm just going to go into the attributes. I'm going to go into the properties, um, and we're going to have a little look at the master voxel size. I'm going to bring this down to about 350. I'm going to rewind and play again. Let it do its thing. Um, anything else I'm going to do while I'm here? Currently, no. So, let's just let that plume up for a second. Right, cool. So now by default, we get assigned an Arnold shader. Now this could be where some of you are coming into issues. Um, but I don't use Arnold shaders. Um, I use V-Ray shaders. Um, but with Aero, I use the Bifrost shader. <clears throat> so as standard now, you get this standard volume shader assigned to the arrow, um, but if we just type in here Bifrost, we can get the Bifrost material show up here. So I'm going to go with the Bifrost arrow material. Um, I'm going to select my bounding box and I'm going to assign the Bifrost arrow material to it. So I'll just check that by select objects for selection yep so here is the bifrost aero material so before that I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to change this to where is it um, particles don't display voxels why can't I show it? Why can't I show it? Come on. Oh, stats. Oh, I haven't done this for ages, so excuse me while I just look for how we can actually see this goddamn thing. I'm sure it was in here. I'm sure it was under display. I just want to show it as smoke voxels, volumetric, point sphere, donut spheres, point, particles. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, sorry, just switch off particles. 
Um, and it's going to kill key fossils on. So we can barely see it at the moment. All right. So now we're just going to go back into our Bifrost material. And we can see we've got scale here. If we move scale up and down, we can start to see our smoke. Then we've got emission color, intensity of the emission, absorption, intensity. So we can start to, you know, really bung in some thickness and color to it. Um, for me, this works. So I'm just going to create a little light. Gonna go have a V-ray rectangle light, and I'll try this with Arnold in a second as well. And let's just scale this up and up. Put that around here. And now I'm gonna stick in a little plane. As you do, and see what we get. All right, so it's gonna enable GI. Uh, gonna hit IPR. So already, I can see some smoke up here that V-Ray is trying to show, yeah? Um, I'm not 100% that it works with IPR yet, so I'm just going to render it. There we go. V-Ray showing the smoke. I mean, obviously, we've still got some passes running, but it's there and you can see it. All right, so that's V-Ray. Now, I'm going to... Disable this light. Uh, I'm going to go into Arnold. Stick uh, Arnold area light in there. So it's the same thing. So you bring it up here, rotate that around. That'll be enough light. Let's just give it a bit more exposure. Then I'm going to go and change my renderer to uh, Arnold um, and with that done I'm going to get this going now that is interesting so that's what Arnold, Arnold is giving us which is interesting so I believe that the Bifrost shader potentially doesn't work with Arnold. So let's just have a little look at that. Let's go into the Bifrost material. Attributes. See if there's anything in here that's going to make me think that it doesn't work with Arnold. All right, so now let's just go into Hypershade again. I wish YouTube could show like free screens. We've got our Arnold material, so I'm just going to select the objects with the Bifrost material and I'm going to assign the Arnold material to it. That's on there. And I'm going to go actually go into that Arnold material and see what we've got going on. So this is the Arnold material. So density up. Let's have a look at that light for a second. There we go. Because obviously Arnold lights are a little bit more fine tuned. Uh, let's get exposure right up. <clears throat> so now we can see that we've got smoke using Arnold. I think that's pretty straightforward. Um, just because that light was a bit dim at the beginning, I'm just going to test whether that Bifrost material does work with Arnold. Pretty sure it's just going to go all crazy and blocky again. But, yeah, there we go. So it definitely doesn't work with Bifrost material. It definitely works with the Arnold volume, standard volume shader. And then you can just play around with your smoke as you please inside of the Arnold settings. So that's it as far as I'm concerned. That's that's how you get it working. Um, yeah, that's it guys. Quick tutorial. I know some of you is having a problem using 
Aero and uh, Arnold and Maya and, and rendering it. I mean, I, I can get it to render with both V-Ray and Arnold. So if you just follow the steps that I've done, you should be calling cool the game. All right, nice one. Cheers. Bye-bye.